Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and we are back on The Witcher 3. It's been a few days, and actually when I started up my Xbox One, because it had been, I think, two days since I recorded Witcher 3, when I started this bad boy up, I clicked on The Witcher 3, and it, would ju it just threw me right back into here. Like, it was pretty darn awesome. Um, I never had that happen before, um, it's that it's gone that long and had it throw me right back into the game. No load up, no load in the main menu. It was pretty awesome. <clears throat> I just thought that was pretty cool that the Xbox One did that. I assume the, um, what you call it, the PlayStation 4 probably does the same thing, and it's pretty cool. Um, but I'm surprised. I, I don't know. I guess I haven't done anything on my Xbox One since uh, the last time I played Witcher 3, so I guess it does make a little bit of sense. But let's go to the Kingfisher. Uh, one of my favorite parts in this game, I really like the song that Priscilla sings, I don't know. I don't know if it's on the disc, uh, you know, there's the disc. Um, I might actually take it, I don't know if I'm going, I'm trying to think, maybe in a weekend or two, I think I'm taking a long drive to Indianapolis. I might actually throw that CD in and see what it's all about, see, uh, kind of just see what's going on. So, how many caps do, or the caps? We have three. We have thirty-seven, almost thirty-seven hundred gold. I just said caps. Mm. Ah. Oh, Can tell I've been playing, freaking. Man, I'm having a. It's hard to transition controls. Let's go to here, I guess. I can't do that. What? Oh crap! Not what I wanted Whoa. to do. I'm, cool. I'm struggling with the controls switching games. No, I did it again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's sundown. Let me go a couple hours later. I think this will work. Here we go. Yes, it did work. Good stuff. Got myself a big old glass of water, so I'm ready to record for a few, another hour or so. Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. No, 
What if fate would have us live as one? Or if by love's blind chance we've been bound? The wish I whispered when it all began Did it forge a love you might never have found? You flee my dream come the morning Your scent, very star Rocks and twisted stormy of violet eyes glistening as you boys back at White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is! Permit me to introduce... Uh, this year's Priscilla known also as Kalanetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? 
I don't know about horse son, but Riven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. The Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. All right, so we need to go to the well, bathhouse. I've been bugger all to do here. And talk to our good Heading friend Ziggy Ruben. Got to feed. And then that I suppose I'll wait. Head. See if our war blood don't come home in his own. <sighs> So then we'll have to find his treasure. Lie me down with ooh, ooh. Hey, oh. we're already level 9. You level up like crazy what? in Novigrad. Like freaking crazy in Novigrad. Not that it really matters in this fight, though. Too bad you can't do this like a level 1 challenge run. I guess what you could do is take no none of this stuff. I might do that. I might do a challenge run. Who knows? Um, um, I'm not sure what I want. I think I'm going to increase my maximum toxicity. And I can also throw on the vitality, or... Yeah, I think I want vitality mutagen, right? No. Oh no, those things don't have any effect. So let's actually, do I want to tack up, or... I think I want to tack up, so let's remove that. Let's remove that, remove that, go ahead and throw this in that slot, throw the attack over on this slot, and there we go, plus 10% attack power. Alright, I think we're all good, let's go ahead and head over to, uh, to Siggy Rubin's bathhouse. <clears throat> So I'm actually, I'm actually really, uh, I don't know, I took a break from The Witcher here for a couple of days. Actually, I think Wednesday was the last day I recorded. Uh, well, I mean, that doesn't mean anything to you guys, but that's a few days ago. And, uh, so that was a, that was a Anybody time there? Ago, so. Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Reuven we'll have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. This this mofo's name is Happen. Who names their The meeting is in the Ooh, baths. In the hell names we will pass through happen. the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You may this All right, here. Siggy. Your equipment will be safe. Yeah, I'd hope so. Happen. Splendid. Well, if you get real close up. Siggy oh. Reuven awaits in the next room. I can't get it. I can't get it. Love you. The camera gave me right when I came out. Oh, you look like a damn girl. Nice bum you have. <laughs> you were right. He a doesn't blush. Your long She's flowing out, then ordered locks. him to shove it up the corpse's ass. And then he sent the body back, offering a hand extended in peace. He's like a horse. Why can I run now? What the hell? <laughs> this is a simple matter. Horse what the hell? <laughs> Wouldn't open the door. Easy, Cleaver. Horse son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you?
I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller? Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever Barney with my prick hanging out. Ah! All right, so I really Good wish they would give you a different weapon than this piece of crap, but I guess Horson's men suck. So you know, you two hit them with this damn thing. Damn it. Ah. All right, come on, fuck. Oh, Cleaver, you suck. You couldn't kill his ass? It's a joke. God damn it! Just all loot these guys? Alright, come here, horse. Come man. Get you with that. You guys want to block. I was able to loot that guy. Nice! I did find a good sword. That Novigrad longsword is not bad. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse and scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior's gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker, and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds. A chat session. Horse son's out to get us, and he'll succeed, eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find horse, son? Find me first. Nice guy right there. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet, a value in itself. Leave you to it then. I'll uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk in private. All right. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. 
Think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with the casino officially. So careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty. Wait, what am I doing? Now, we do not need to talk to him. Of, oh, I guess you have to. Okay, we're just going to skip these. We don't need to. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. All right. Let's ask him. Let's see. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingales' tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. Seem a bit prickly. Something bothering you? Sorry. I know I've been unbearable lately. But at my age, the menopause, what with hot flushes and violent mood swings? Dijkstra, men don't get menopause. You know that, don't you? Yes, you moron. I also know you don't actually give a shite about my problems. What do you want? You got me. Need work. Thought you might throw some my way. Monster trouble, that sort of thing. Yeah. Might be able to help me, in fact. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion. Establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tripe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Be so kind as to follow me. All right, so let's head down here. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Come on, Siggy. Let's go. Come on, Siggy, move your ass. Siggy, what are you doing? Let's go. Got a minute? I do. What the hell? 
What is he doing? Time Come on, Ziggy. To do. There we go, buddy. It's all ass. Oh, Bart! Not again! Bart. Hey, Bart, it's Bart! Stop that! Now! Bart! Bart! Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan! Beating your head against the wall won't change that. But her. But less thinky. But less thinky. But sadness. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then BOOM! Chorfun, go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold, and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No. But I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole, oh, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look, no. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Head fall. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, you hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun, gone. Bart, troll. Now, now, stiff up a lip. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonts. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonts, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. 
You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Alright, so we need to uh, investigate the, the side of the break in, but into. I am going to cut the episode here and we will do that in the uh, next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you all then. Peace out.